Hello everyone, this is Mike, part of the technical support staff here at sdrplay.com. Call sign is Kilo Delta 2 Kilo Oscar Golf. Okay, in this video we're going to unbox the RSP1A. We are going to head over to sdrplay.com. We're going to navigate to the Start Here section. We're going to register this device. We are going to download SDR Uno version 1.22. We're going to install it and I'm going to give you a quick overview of it. In between all of that, I'm going to give you some information to help minimize any issues you might have during installation. All right, here's the RSP1A. I'm going to take it out of the box and we're going to go over the very first thing, USB cables. You want to use a quality USB 2.0 uh, A to B cable. And I suggest the trip light. They have two sizes. I believe it's three feet and six feet, whichever size works for you. Uh, I usually go with the three foot uh, trip light cables. Now these USB cables have ferrite chokes on both ends. And that is important. It helps minimize RFI coming in via the uh, USB cable. That goes for any SDR. Uh, you want to use quality USB 2.0 cables, and these are rated for USB 2.0. So please make sure the cables you're using are known working cables. If not, I highly recommend this Trip Light USB 2.0 high speed cable, A to B. Okay, we got that part out of the way. Let's go to the input. The input of the RSP1A is SMA female. And you can see that there is a small little hole right over here. I hope you can see this. And the type of termination you want is SMA male. So let's put this here. And I'm going to search for SMA males so I can show you the proper termination. Okay, here is a cable. This is not the right cable. This is not the one that I would, I would recommend that you use. But this is SMA male. It's threaded on the inner part and there's a center stinger so that is male and that is going to mate with SMA female which is here so whatever coax cable you're using make sure it's terminated SMA male very very important they have SMA cables that are threaded that will fit this connector but there is no center pin without the center pin there is no connectivity you will not get a signal going into the uh, RSP or any SDR that is SMA or any SDR that's SMA. <laughs> that's basically, that's uh, that's the best way to put it. All right, now that we got that part out of the way, let's head over to SDRplay.com. We'll go to the Start Here section. And you're going to want to fill out some information. First thing is your country. So I'm going to fill this out and my purchase location I'll say direct from strplay.com my operating system is Windows 10 I'm going to check this box off and I have an RSP1A my name my email address and now the serial number serial number is located on the bottom of all RSP devices now I hope you can see this because I'm using a webcam to do picture in picture. So I'm going to say right about here looks right. Here is the serial number. So it's 180200. So let's go for the prefix 180200 BB294. All right, let's submit. What do we want to download? Well, of course we want to download SDR Uno. Device is successfully updated. Uh, the details, sorry about that. And let's download it. Select I am not a robot. And here's the download. Very important step. Before you install SDR Uno, what I recommend, personal recommendation, reboot your computer. That is the first thing you want to do. If your antivirus or uh, pop-up blocker, disable them for the download. They will possibly flag the installer, the, you know, the actual download, as a false positive. Some, but not all, antivirus software will flag the installer 
as a false positive. It is not infected. Uh, there are kernel drivers here. This is going to install a low-level driver within the OS, and some antivirus sees that as a virus or a possible threat. It is not a threat. So reboot the system, and you're going to want to right-click on the installer. This is the way I like to do it. Right-click on the installer and run as admin. So let's pull this up. All right, let's run this as admin. Accept. We'll do that. Next. Install. After you install SDR Uno, I would recommend rebooting the system again. You don't have to do it. This is just the way that I prefer to do it. Plug in the device after you reboot the system. It's going to find the RSP1A driver. It is going to install the driver, and then you can launch SDR Uno. So I'm going to assume that everything went very smooth. If not, what you can do is head right over to the uh, support area and create a ticket. My apologies. Let's just pull it up right here and create a new ticket. If you have any issues, I will be more than happy to help you in the ticket system. All right, now that SDR Uno is installed, let's launch it. It's, if you have more than one device, it's going to ask you which device do you want to use. So I'm going to select the RSP1A. Now my layout is going to look different than yours because obviously I had it installed beforehand and I have my own uh, custom workspace here. I'm going to reset SDR Uno. It's this way you can see the actual default startup. So let's, let's just reset this and let's rerun it. Depending on your monitor resolution, certain panels are going to auto populate. So let's go over uh, some of the basic, very, very basics here. Tuning a SDR within SDR Uno, any of the RSPs, is done through the RX control. Uh, you can mouse wheel up or down. You can hit the space bar and directly enter the frequency. Uh, you can use the memory panel. We'll get into that. Uh, later on or you can just click around now let me launch SDR Uno again because I want to show you something that's very very important and it's called giving yourself separation between the tune and the yellow when you launch SDR Uno the tune and the yellow are going to be aligned you want to give yourself a little bit of separation between these two numbers and before you go ahead and click play just click in the main SP and now you have some separation. I'm going to lower the volume and I'm going to click play. And let's see what's going on. Okay, we have some signals here. Now you can click around. That's the basically the whole point of an SDR is where you can see the signals and click around. Your modes are right here in the RX control. Let's mute this. You have your different modes here, which you can select. You can zoom in and zoom out of the waterfall, so this way you can actually get in on that signal. So let's see what's going on here. Let's find something. Okay, I clicked here. I'm using my mouse wheel up and down, or I can just click around, like I, I said previously. So let's see what we got. Now let's zoom in and give ourselves some volume. Okay, so the modes are here. Your filter adjustment, there are preset filters per mode. So I can go 8K, 11, 20, 6, or I can manually do it. The main, let's do this. The main panel con controls uh, basically all the RSP functions. Uh, whichever device you have is going to pop up information here. Each device has specifics, uh, and that is outlined in the manual. So if you go to Options and User Manual, and you scroll down, I don't know, a little bit, 
page 11, it's going to show the different panels per, not the different panels, the, the different information per device. So if you're running an RSP1, this is what you'll be presented with if you're running an RSP2, 2 Pro, and the RSP1A. And let's take a look. Okay, so the main panel is for controlling the device. The RX control is for tuning the EX control. That is going to control most of the filtering. Uh, anything that's audio related uh, is going to be uh, within the EX control. Remember, as I said, the amount of panels that come up on the screen are going to be determined by your monitor resolution. So you might not have the EX control, but you can easily add it. You can just click on uh, EXW and it's going to pop up. You might not have the uh, RDS window. You can click it and it's going to pop up. You might not have the memory panel. You can click it and you can create your workspace. And let's actually create a quick workspace. We'll just customize this just a little bit. Let's drag that out. I'm going to right click on the default workspace. Now there are 10 workspaces. Workspace zero or default workspace is exactly that. It is the default workspace that is going to load when you launch SDR Uno. So I'm gonna rename that. I right click, hit enter. And now I want to hit control W and select the workspace, which is now SDR Play, which would actually be Workspace Zero, but it's the default. Now we adjusted this here and the filter here. So let's let's close this down and let's relaunch SDR Uno. And let's see if that took. And it did. As I said, you can move all of these panels around to your liking. The AUX SP is filtering. All the filtering takes place in here. And a majority of these panels have settings. Each one of these panels has further settings. We're not going to get into that. I just want to get you up and running. The recorder is for IQ recording. You can record the uh, complete bandwidth of whatever the RSP is set at, the final sample rate, it's going to record. And then you can go back in to options, select input, wave file, and play that wave file back. It's not demodulated audio. It is baseband. It's IQ. It's the whole. It's, the, it's basically whatever you have set as a sample rate, it is going to record that, that whole swath of spectrum. The memory panel is basically unlimited banks with unlimited frequencies in each bank. So you would right click, create a new bank, right click, save the bank, name it, and there it is. We'll make another one. New bank, save bank, and you can store frequencies in there. So if I click play, and we'll go to test and we'll store it. You can hit delete and clean this up. Save the bank after your changes. Very, very, very important. The main SP is where all the action happens. You will set your sample rate within the main panel. And that's exactly what you're going to see is the final sample rate here. There's other things. Uh, as I said, I just want to keep it simple. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you have any uh, problems with installation, please open up a support ticket. I'll be more than happy to help you. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. And as I said, this is just a basic uh, getting started, uh, you know, unboxing, plugging it in and, and getting ready to go. Now, as I said, the important things, if the installer, if your antivirus flags the installer as a threat, as I said, it is not a threat, it is a false positive, disable the AV, install SDR Uno, re-enable the AV and you'll be fine. Uh, warmest of 73 and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this was helpful.